hi guys and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be my celebrity perfume collection and i have about 22 and i am going to be doing like a mini declutter so some of these are were popular probably like maybe 15 years ago a long time ago but they're known to be pretty decent celebrity scents and then i have six perfumes here that are probably my favorite there's there's like seven but let's go ahead and get into the collection so we're gonna start off with Britney Spears I didn't get into the Britney Spears line when it was popular just I don't know why I just I don't know why I never got into it it was a very popular scent um, there's two there's actually three that I'm gonna be letting go of two I kind of mentioned I was gonna let go of but let's go ahead and go into the perfumes I believe the first one of hers was Curious. And this is just a very pretty, fresh, uh, clean scent out of the line. So this little set that I picked up, I like because they're very different. So I will try to link it below. But this is just a very pretty, clean, fruity floral. It leans more on the fresh side, I would say. This little set that I got was really good because you get a nice, clean, like fruity floral, then you get your girly fruity floral. This is Britney Spears uh, Fantasy. And then it's like really fun and flirty. And then you get Midnight Fantasy. This one is a little more tropical to me. And it is a little bit more, I don't wanna say deep, cause these are still both bright perfumes, but I would say this is more day and this is more night in my opinion. And then you get like a gourmand scent. You get this private show. It's got like a coffee note. It's not that strong in here, but, and the anomizer on this is really nice. But this is a nice soft gourmand scent. So you kind of get a little bit of everything in this little kit. But I have a lot of perfume, so I am gonna be letting go of these three. And I am keeping private show. I really enjoyed private show. It's one of my lighter coffee uh, sweet scents that I have which is nice like for bedtime again this is if you don't want to break the bank it's going to be targeted more my probably my age group because this that's when Britney Spears was popular but still decent uh, celebrity perfumes I would say I would say they last pretty good I mean on me um, when I because I usually wear celebrity perfumes to bed in place of like body splashes I'll spray these on I can still smell them lingering on my skin when I wake up those are Britney Spears perfumes then I only have one Christina Aguilera perfume I actually had a viewer ask if I could review or pick up a uh, Christina Aguilera perfume so I picked up her original and when I filmed that I did have a couple people say that her original was the best out of all of them and this is actually a really nice celebrity perfume this is a very simple vanilla fragrance and this cost me like nine dollars and i actually like it it's uh nothing too crazy or over the top it's a really nice soft like vanilla scent and it's got like a cleanness to it this is a really nice scent for bedtime i like this one this is christina aguilera i guess just her original one and it's one of those celebrity perfumes that I don't hear in a lot of people's collection but it's actually a pretty nice one but I haven't tested out the longevity on this one I couldn't tell you but for nine dollars honestly it's I, I think it's a good one okay and the next we have Antonio Venderas and this one is uh, blue seduction this is a sweet it's like clean but sweet and I enjoy this scent, but my mom actually wants it. So I am going to pass this one on to her because this did get really sweet on my skin. Not that it was a bad thing, but I thought it was going to be a little bit more crisp, a little bit fresh. I mean, every time I spray it, I enjoy it. But after the dry down on me, it gets a little too sweet. And right now I'm very much into like clean and crisp scents. So since my mom wanted it because it was Antonio Banderas, I told her I would give this one to her so and then we have some Jessica Simpson and I really enjoy Jessica Simpson's fancy this is a really nice gourmand scent I really like this one in fall it opens up very bright but then it gets warm and 
cozy. I think there's vanilla and almond in here. So it opens up fruity and bright and then it turns into just a nice cozy gourmand but not like sickingly sweet scent. This is something you could wear year round but I prefer it uh, more in fall. And I would say the longevity on this, you do have to, I'm an oversprayer so this does last a work day. But again, that's probably because I spray it all around me. Celebrity perfumes don't always last like the longest. But most of the ones I have do only because I did a lot of reviews before I picked up these scents. So this one isn't, isn't too bad. Now, Jessica Simpson's Fancy Love. I tried to like this one. but it just reminds me of an orange creamsicle. And I don't like that on me. And I had put this like for bedtime, but I'm reaching for some of these other ones over this one, so I'm actually going to let go of this one. On my skin, it's, it's like a pretty set if you like that kind of creamy. There's a creaminess to this one, but it reminds me of an or an orange creamsicle like that's what it smells like after it dries down on my skin and I'm just not crazy about it and since I'm not crazy about it you know I'm not gonna hang on to it but the bottles pretty I really like this bottle I think the bottles are super cute but it's not anything I'm I'm crazy about all right next row we'll go over some Jennifer Lopez and this was a Kathleen lights made me buy it and this has great lasting power. This is just, I, I think I'm trying to like this scent because this is in a lot of people's top celebrity scents. This is just a little too synthetic for me. There's something in here. Let me spray it again. I don't, I don't want it on my skin. I sprayed this yesterday and I'm like, why do I keep trying to like this? I love JLo by the way. Yeah. I don't know what it is. When I spray this, it smells like at first spray. It's just, it's very, very synthetic. There's just other beachy scents that I reach for over this one. And I think I'm keeping it because Kathleen Lights liked it and because of the cute bottle. But this isn't expensive. This, this is only $16 and I will have it linked down below. This has like coconuts and it's fruity. It's just very synthetic on my skin. It's not what I reach for. I picked up a few scents that I'm really excited to wear during the summer. That video is going to be coming out in the beginning of June, hopefully. And again, I, I'm hanging on to this for the wrong reason, so I'm actually going to let go of this one as well. And then these two I actually really do like. These are two that I don't ever hear of. I think they came out and they were quickly forgotten, but this is Jennifer Lopez J. Lust and J Lux and this is supposed to be more for like day and this is like more night and I really do enjoy these and sometimes I'll wear this one during the day and then and then I'll put that one on over this one and most of these scents are your typical you know fruity florals that's very popular this one's got a powderiness to it the longevity isn't great but again this is very inexpensive i got both of these in a box probably for under 20 dollars. so i i wear this one during the day and once this fades away i'll pop this one on right over it and this one's just a little bit more deeper in the slightest way but and that's probably what it's going for it's supposed to be like more of the daytime like glam and then the nighttime diva as how, you know, J-Lo. But yeah, these are really fun to have in my collection. I do enjoy them as celebrity scents. I think Jennifer Lopez makes okay celebrity scents. They're not the longest lasting. You get like, again, like four to six hours. I'm an oversprayer, so I usually get about six hours out of them. The next line I'm gonna talk about is Ariana Grande. And I would say that the celebrity scents that are coming out, in my opinion, are a little bit better. I find the Ariana Grande perfume line to be very good. I would say like sweet like candy and I do have the roller ball to the original. This is the limited edition um, one which I believe has red berries in it. They're, they smell almost the same but this is more of a candy marshmallowy vibe and I really enjoy these scents for bedtime. These are more fun. Uh, they are youthful. Again, 
I've mentioned in the video that I did of this, it's targeted more towards her fan base, which tend to be more of the younger crowd, but they're still really beautiful scents. And, you know, anybody of any age can rock whatever they want, in my opinion. But I would say out of the whole line, this one is probably the most sweet and marshmallowy out of the entire line and the pink one. So I do have her Sweet Like Candy, which is basically this in a pink bottle. And again, it's just a sweet, marshmallowy, and I enjoy it for sleep. I also think that these perfumes perform better. I get about eight hours out of these perfumes and the projection on these are pretty good. So Ariana Grande perfumes are very popular right now in Orlando, Florida. So I smell them all the time. <laughs> when I go to the grocery store, when I go to Walmart, they are popular scents around here. So her first perfume was Ari and this one, I would say if you like Viva La Juicy, this is a much modern version of it. Fruity floral, um, bright, fun, it's very inexpensive. I want to say these are like anywhere from 20 to 40 depending on the size that you pick up you could also get the sets that come with lotions so i will have these linked below i'll try to look for the cheapest ones available and then she came out with i believe frankie was next but i could be wrong and frankie's supposed to be more of a unisex scent and i do like this one and then um, moonlight i would say these two are a little bit more they have a little bit more notes to them that i don't want to say that they have a lot of depth but gives them just a little bit more depth than Sweet like candy and art, in my opinion. And then we have Thank You Next. This is just a coconutty, uh, peppery, marshmallowy sweet one. Out of the whole line, this is probably my least favorite. And then we're down to our last seven. First one I'm gonna mention, and this one's a great clubbing scent. The longevity on this is till the next day, and the projection is great, and that is Britney Spears Believe. Now this scent is not for everyone. This scent is not her typical fruity floral. This is um, a fruity patchouli scent. This is heavy on the patchouli, especially if you have the original. I did pick up the reformulated version and it's just a watered down version so you might might like that. I passed it on to my sister but I prefer the original formulation because it's more patchouli heavy and when I used to wear this out I would get compliments on it all the time. This I put something about patchouli when it heats up not on everyone I know on some people it doesn't play well with their skin but patchouli plays very well on my skin. Something about this scent Every time I would wear it, people would always ask me what I had on. This is a perfume that my husband actually picked out for me. Me and my husband used to go clubbing all the time together when we dated. He picked this scent up when we were dating and I had used up the entire bottle. Then we have Lady Gaga's Oh de Gaga. And this would have been in my top five if it wasn't for the longevity. This does last like four or five hours on me. But for the price, that's okay. This perfume is minty, um, leather. It is different. This is a very different scent in my collection. I don't have anything that smells like this and it's a celebrity scent. And again, this is Eau de Gaga by Lady Gaga. And besides the fact that it doesn't last that great, Everything else about this is amazing. I picked this up for, I want to say $11 though. You could definitely find it for under 20, but I happened to find it for like, I think 11 or $12. And this scent is just so different. It's unisex, it's crisp, it's minty, it's leather. It's not for everyone though. Not everyone's gonna like this. If you don't like leather, you're not gonna like this. If you don't like mint, you're not gonna like this. But this is a very different scent and I really do enjoy this one. It just reminds me of like cooler weather and putting on like leather, a leather jacket and boots. Yeah. This next um, celebrity scent is up there. I really love 
Sarah Jessica Parker, The Lovely Line. I love both of these scents. I love Lovely and I love Born Lovely. I think these are amazing celebrity scents. These are ones that I would put up there with designer. They say that Lovely is a dupe for Narciso Rodriguez. I actually really enjoy this on a more everyday basis. I love my Narciso Rodriguez. That is one of my top perfumes, but this is a very beautiful everyday version of that one. As long as they make this one, I would continue to repurchase this one. I recently started getting into Born Lovely now that I'm home. I already put a little dent in, in this one. Atomizers on these are beautiful. The bottle I really like. These are, I think, great celebrity scents. Again, they are up there. And then next is Rihanna. Uh, Rebel Fleur and this is very popular in the perfume community as a great celebrity scent. I can't stand this bottle but the scent is really good. But this is a really nice summer night scent. It's got coconut in here. It's very dark and mysterious. It's powdery. I like this one more for like date night or summer nights because there is coconut in here but it, the scent is a little bit more deep to me where I prefer it more at nighttime. The longevity on this is really good and this projects. Um, people do smell this on me when I wear it. Another great celebrity scent is Love by Sofia Vergara. This one is replacing other scents in my collection, designer scents. So once my Victor Roth bonbon goes and my um, Jimmy Choo Fever, this smells very similar to those scents that I don't know that I would spend the price on those when I have this one. So Love by Sofia Vergara is just a beautiful coffee, fru fruity coffee scent. And I would say I get a good six to eight hours on this and the price is under $20. This is a really nice celebrity scent. And I like this one again for date night or fall. I mean, it does have the coffee note, but it does go away after a while. And then you're left with more of a cozy, warm, caramel, vanilla scent. But I really do enjoy this scent. I like this one better than her original. Her original did not play well on my skin. My mom really likes the original. I gave that one to her and I like the way it smells on her, but that one didn't play well on my skin. All right, and then my top celebrity scent. I think this is like in a lot of people's top, but that is Ariana Grande's Cloud. This is just a beautiful, milky, airy, sweet scent. This one has lavender in it, so it's also clean and fresh. I think that this one is a scent that is great for all ages. I do wear this more to run errands and wear it more to go to bed, but this is becoming very popular here. But this is supposed to be duping Baccarat Rouge 540. I have mentioned in another video that I actually prefer this one over 540. But yeah, I just really enjoy this scent and it is, it is unique. I would say these last seven that I've mentioned are very unique and you could build a whole collection with just these seven and have scents for like day, night, going to the club, going on date night, um, something fresh. These definitely aren't perfumes that are for everyone, but for the price, uh, they're worth trying. So this one is probably my top celebrity scent, but these last seven that I mentioned are scents that I have either repurchased or would repurchase again. And then these other ones, they're just nice celebrity scents. I am letting go of six perfumes just because they don't have a place here in my collection anymore. So I'm gonna be letting go of six and keeping the rest. I might do another sweep once I test out some more but that is my celebrity collection. I know some people really like Nicki Minaj perfumes. I know that's another one that's very popular. I can't get past that bottle. I like Nicki Minaj. I like her music. I don't like those bottles. They bother me. So because of those bottles, I've never picked up a Nicki Minaj perfume. The bottle, not her. They just, I, I, I don't care for the bottle. So let me know in the comments below. Are there any other celebrity perfumes that are great hidden gems? Or do you own any of these? What are your feelings on them? But yeah, guys, that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Click the notification bell so you know when I upload. And until next time, guys, bye.